Hello, friends. Today is Valentine's Day, but it's also Transfiguration Sunday. And that's really what I want to talk to you folks about today. Transfiguration. In Mark, we read in chapter 9 about transfiguration, the transfiguration of Jesus. One day, Jesus took Peter, James, and John, three of his disciples, up to the mountain. And while he was there, two men from the Old Testament also appeared, Moses and Elijah. While Jesus was talking to his disciples, his clothes became dazzling. The light of, of God shone in and through him in a way that his disciples had never seen before. I want to try to give you an example of what that transfiguration might have been and what it might have looked like, except we are going to do something that some of you may have been doing in the last couple of months, almost a year now, is doing some school experiments at home. So how we're going to talk about transfiguration today is I have vinegar in two glasses. And we're going to try making a chemical reaction. And through that reaction, we're going to see if the vinegar is transfigured into something else that we can use, for me at least, when I'm cooking or baking a cake. So the first one that we are going to try is baking powder. Sometimes when you're baking, you need baking powder. So here is the vinegar and here is the baking powder. Well, if you can see, it fizzed a little bit. Let's see. Oh, it's still going. Can you see that? It was clear and then it became bubbly. All right, and then with the baking soda, we're going to see what the reaction will be when I put some baking soda in with the vinegar. Hmm. I think this one, hmm, it's fizzing and it's going farther up. Did you see that? I think if I put a lot more of the baking soda, it would rise even more, but I don't wanna have to clean that up in my kitchen today. So, I want you just to keep in mind that when we put soda, oh, there it goes, one more time. When we put soda in our vinegar, there is a chemical transformation. It's fizzy, it foams, and makes all these noises that I doubt you can hear. Well. Similarly, when Jesus was transfigured that day with three of his disciples on the mountain, he was transformed as well. And it was the first time that his disciples began to understand even more clearly that Jesus was the Son of God. Jesus was who he said he was. He would do what he said he was going to do. Today in our world, we have a lot of people who might talk a big talk, but not be able to follow through and carry through with everything that they tell us they can do. Well, in the life and teaching of Jesus, in his death and in his resurrection, we are assured we can put our trust in Jesus that what he says, he does. He is indeed the Son of God. And we are to put our hope and our trust in him. 
so that your life and my life and all the lives of people who come to know Christ will know that he is the one that can transform you, me, and our world. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you that through your power, through the work of God, through the work of the Holy Spirit today, that your power is greater than any other power, and we are to put our hope and trust in you, Lord, because you are indeed our Savior and our Redeemer. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thanks, friends. See you next time.